Yeah. We are composing them indirectly here. The controller doesn't know about those view model methods. Now, you may have a retain cycle here because the controller has a strong reference to the view model and now the view model has a, a strong reference to the mm -hmm. controller. And here's the point that you understand the composition because you can see all the classes here. You know exactly how they are composed. So it's much simpler to find those retain cycles. And you can simply weakify the controller. The composition. Whoops, weak. Controller. Yeah. Makes sense? You say mm -hmm. weak there? Yeah. In. In. That's it. Oh, I need to call the method with the parameter. Then you can start even moving this memory management to the centralized place here where you can see exactly how these things are composed. Otherwise, you need to defensively put in weak stuff everywhere and then you right. always need to deal with optionals. <laughs> exactly. That's another advantage of composing things in a centralized place. Or, or dispatching on the right thread, you know, on the main thread, like I think I saw in the view model. Yeah. In the, <clears throat> excuse me, in the login view model there that yeah you can just centralize it in the composition root so your components are they, they know nothing about threads and uh, yeah. memory management it's much easier to develop and test and maintain you know you don't have to remember oh <laughs> why is this weak exactly here? yeah <laughs> you know yeah because it's always anytime it has to talk to the network it goes on a background thread and then you're making a change on the the front side it has to dispatch to a different queue so exactly yes so yeah the these like the view model doesn't need to know about the provenance of the data that it came from the network which runs on a background thread right 